I personally cannot wait for Thursday. I'm getting rid of my hair. I'm going back to the old, used to be skinhead, basically on the, on the side and back, and getting rid of it. Cannot wait. But today we're going to be talking about Elon Musk, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. This court case has been going on now for quite a while and obviously here in the UK he's taken the son and one of the editors, Dan something or other, he's suing them because of some things that they said in the paper. And it's kind of interesting mostly because the concierge of the actual penthouse where Johnny Depp lived with Amber Heard has come out in defence of Johnny Depp saying Elon Musk is the one who gave Amber Heard all the bruises and the cuts. That's quite a serious allegation straight away off the old uh, off the old bat and we're going to take a few things looking at this because when I first found out I was actually looking on One Angry Gamer because to be honest with you I like looking on here because a lot of the stuff you get you just straight away you're like ah right okie dokie and when I saw this I was actually quite shocked because Obviously, Elon Musk, he's worth $60 billion. You know, he's one of the richest men in the world. And it's like, right, okay. Don't get me wrong, he can be up himself a little, you know, from path from time to time, which we've seen him. But I actually find him quite funny. And this, of course, get rid of that little video. And this is what I'm seeing, one angry gamer, Elon Musk, implicated as Amber heard this. I saw that and I was like, wow, okay, that's kind of interesting. The article goes on about what has happened, obviously, a few things. But then you got uh, Tug's video on it, which was actually a very good video. And I was like, right, okay, let's have a little look. Let's Google it and see what comes up. So I put into Google, Elon Musk and Johnny Depp. And this is what we got. So go back to the beginning. So you got page six, Insider and GOTV, all of them saying Elon Musk has been implicated. Then this is the interesting one. The Sun. Tesla boss Elon Musk may have done injured Amber Heard, concierge suggests during Johnny Depp's court trial. And with that there, with The Sun reporting that, even though Johnny Depp has taken them to court, it's like, ah, right. Do The Sun actually believe that the concierge is telling the truth now and they were had? Because if they were then that Dan guy, he's not going to be in the job much longer. And with this guy, he's he normally does morning television here in the UK, and he's on Good Morning Britain, which is it's, it's a very popular TV show in the morning. And he's on it, and if it's someone he doesn't like, or if it's a film or a show or something he doesn't like, he gets really, really bitchy towards that, towards that show or person. And when all this first came out with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, oof, that guy, he must have had a rocket up his ass because he was literally going, Johnny Depp's this, Johnny Depp's that, I hate him, I can't believe I liked him, and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, dude, you have no idea what's going on. You literally run a tabloid gossip rag. That's what it is. That's what the sun is now in this country. But then you had obviously the Daily Star, Amber Heard's Daily Mail, and you got a few more Daily Mail again, Sky News, The Mirror. There's quite a lot, and obviously these are all going back now towards. And it's the Daily Mail one that we're going to take a look at today. So we got Elon Musk and not Depp could have given Amber Heard these during the fair as her marriage to the actor crumbled. Penthouse concierge bombshell cling. Musk was a regular visitor to Amber Heard's LA penthouse, arriving at 11pm, still there at 1am. It is claimed the late night visits took place as Heard's marriage to Depp crumbled, amid a series of blazing routes. Depp is suing news groups, newspapers, publishers of The Sun, over an article referring to him as this. Court heard of a row on May 2016 when Heard says Depp threw a mobile phone at her like a baseball pitcher. But security staff at the building where she lives said there was no cuts or bruises on her face for a week after this alleged attack. So this is where it comes in now. So we got... Get your nose. Trinity Esperaza, who ran security at the building, said it wasn't until May the 27th that Heard had a cut underneath her right eye and red marks uh, by her eye. Miss Esperaza also alleges that on June the 4th, Two weeks after Depp left the penthouse, she saw Heard with third their injuries. 
bruise on the cheek, two on either side of her neck in the shape of fingers. For all we know, it could have been some rough loving that they liked and it just happened. And she was like, oh, you know what? I'll blame Johnny for this. That could easily happen. When asked who Heard had been interacting over this time with, Miss Esperanza replied, Elon Musk. No one else. When you've got the concierge saying that, obviously... They're not going to lie because it's their job. It's like, yeah, I'm not going to say someone done this or someone done that. It's like, actually, no. Johnny Depp wasn't in the building for these two weeks. He moved out. Elon Musk kept coming over nearly every night. You know? Then it goes into the actual story about it. Let's get rid of this Giselle Maxwell thing, which... That's another video for another day. I personally think Giselle will probably end up on the older slab in the next couple of weeks. A bit like how uh, Epstein did. But another story, another time. So you got, obviously, Elon Musk, not Depp, could have done this to her. 13th floor, concierge manager, said she saw no bruises on her, no injuries, when Depp supposedly done all of this. And then it's got Miss Esperanza, who owned the concierge company at exclusive Eastern Columbia building, said she saw Miss Heard almost every day throughout the week after the alleged phone hurling incident. And there was nothing on her face. May 25th, Miss Esperanza said she even complimented Miss Heard by saying her skin looks flawless and asked what moisturiser she used. There we go, we got uh, Amber Heard and Elon Musk together. And then we got them both arriving at court. Johnny Depp being the man, like, you know, here we go, guys, we're going to do this. And obviously you had um, Amber Heard arriving with everything else, like, yeah, look at this, we're going to do this. It's going to bite you in the ass, love, seriously. Then you get obviously it goes by here now, you know, May twenty seventh, six days after the attack by Depp, she saw Miss Heard with a red mark underneath her right eye and a sad look on her face. Upon then reviewing security footage, beginning on May the twenty first, she saw Heard on a multitude of security camera footage clips on each day of the ensuing week. I was able to zoom in on her face in order to view the footage in greater detail. I did not see any bruises, cuts, swelling, red mark, or any other injuries of any kind. It's kind of sad that people have to go out and do this sort of thing, you know. They have to go out and lie. They have to go and say, oh, so-and-so did this to me. So-and-so did that to me. Because these people, it's almost like they don't actually think of the actual implications of what's going to happen. Because in this case here, Johnny Depp has all the evidence he could possibly want. Security camera footage, eyewitness accounts, everything. Tape recordings, you name it, this guy got it. And when you see people come out and they're like, oh, I'm going to do this to him, I'm going to do that. But then all of a sudden they get found out. They haven't thought, what if they find out I'm lying? What if they find out this never happened to me? Or he never done it, but someone else did. You know, it's this is the reason why a lot of the Me Too movement, a lot of things, where you got people coming out saying this happened, this happened, this happened. It's like... Again, it's literally he said, she said. The entire story is a me too. Perfect example, Alyssa Milano, look what she did. Because she's friends with Joe Biden, someone came out against Joe Biden and she was like, no, you're lying. But then she had to take a step back because the me too movement kind of went, oh, that's how we're doing it now. Favoritism, because it's your friend, he could never possibly do it. You know, it's that situation. Again, he said, she said. It's the only way this is going to end. And personally, I can see Johnny Depp winning all of his cases because literally he's got evidence up the wazoo and people are literally going to be like, yeah, Johnny Depp's a nice guy through and through. He's never hurt anyone, never harmed anyone. When private detectives cannot find anything dating back 30, 35 years and everyone's like, no, Johnny Depp, I love him, he's amazing. You know? And when your own defence team leave you as well? Oh, heard. Heard the turd. You've got nothing going for you. Literally. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see all you wonderful people soon.